Well, now we've got to talk about Ben Oguntuashe, who is uh, a member of the APC. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. We just heard from uh, the PDP how they first will not congratulate your party because they think it's a robbery against them. And secondly, they highlighted the reasons, uh, particularly those who were prevented from voting in Egiti. What's your account of what transpired? Well, I was there at the, at the event. I went to at least eight polling units within my area. And what I found out was that the election was very peaceful. It was very free. It was very fair. Contrary to a lot of the expectation and all the noise, the election was not militarized at all. I did not see any soldiers. I saw policemen who had been normal security duties just watching, and uh, nobody was uh, harassed, nobody was molested, to the best of my knowledge. I think everything was free and fair. Well, he also uh, accused, he mentioned vote buying, that there are reports that your party members, rather than uh, speaking about a good campaign, he says no, there were allegations of vote buying, they are compiling their data with which uh, they will proceed to the tribunal. Should you be worried about some of those cases which he's highlighted? Well, I believe that there's a level to, to which our political process has fallen, which is uh, bad. Uh, all of us have to work together to deal with that. And this is a challenge, in my view, for the National Orientation Agency to do something about. If somebody is uh, making allegation of vote buying, it, will, it has become a universal tendency in the Nigerian political framework. This is what happens in all elections. There is no need we make a crisis about it. At least where I voted, uh, were two in a, in a colleague local government, I saw that uh, the PDP people gave money. In, in fact, one of their principal uh, officers stood there right uh, at the voting place and was sharing money. And there was no problem uh, whatsoever. They did not even harass them. Nobody challenged them. It, it has, this has become a universal tendency in our political process. We need to work out to do something about it. How to demonetize our political system is a challenge for all of us, and particularly a challenge for the National Orientation Agency to do something about. The, uh, the short clip circulating about your party giving voters money as well? Well, uh, I was not given any money, but in good, in good conscience, I cannot uh, make any statement on that. Uh, yeah. I suspect it happened everywhere, you know. So your party will also gave money. Is that why you say this is a, a problem that needs to be addressed? It's a problem that needs to be addressed. It, look, if we are trying to play games about this thing, and we are trying to say because it is me, I don't want to talk about it. We all been serious with problem in this country. This is what happens in all elections in this country. We do not need to hide uh, about that one. All parties are guilty of that. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a case of uh, if an action is endemic and is universal, I want to believe that consequentially they have been neutralized. So can we then say that elections were free and fair if parties, including yours, are buying votes? Again, it depends on our concept of what is free and what is fair. But as far as I'm concerned, all those who went to vote were free to take decision and to vote their conscience. Nobody was coerced into who they would vote for. I voted my conscience. I voted for my party. I voted because I wanted Ekiti State to escape from the, from the existing crude form of management and brigandage that, was, that has been uh, ravaging the land. And I voted my conscience. And I want to presume this is what all voters did. Vote your conscience. That's what the voting is all about. Now, the allegation, furthermore, uh, still in that line, is that your party induced members, top officials of INEC, as well as security agencies. 
How will you protect yourself uh, no, that is court? I don't believe I don't believe we induce uh, the security agencies or members of uh, INEC. No, I that is, that is not true at all. That's not true whatsoever. The you see this game, this press, this blame the game that is going on. That, uh, that's what the press what statement released by the by the APC spokesperson, Kolao Lobodio, said uh, that these are facts that can be verified, that are verifiable in court. That your party actually bribed top officials of INEC. Uh, particularly those in the ICT department, as well as security agencies? I'm sure when he gets to the court, the court will uh, ask him uh, to provide evidence of this kind of a shy dish uh, allegation. Well, what, where I saw it happen, who, who gave what, who gave money to who and so on. I'm sure the court or the tribunal will require him to provide the uh, uh, evidence, evidentiary facts about all these uh, stupid uh, allegations. What I'm telling you here is that it is not the practice of my party. It is not the practice of those of us in the leadership of that party to begin to bribe uh, officials of uh, INEC or uh, security agencies and so on. Don't, don't, don't forget that we recognize the neutrality of the police uh, forces, the security forces in the conduct of election. They are there to protect the entire electorate. They are not there on behalf of any particular party. We all understand this. So just give us a moment. Uh, we'll come back to you in just a moment. Don't go away.